In this video, we're going to talk about the structures of a human cell. So this right here is a picture of sort of an ideal cell that includes a lot of the structures that different cells have. Now, you can see here in, in the green, this region right here is the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is the space between the nucleus and the cell membrane. And it houses organelles and it has a jelly like substance which is called cytosol. Now, the nucleus, which in blue I have right here, houses the genetic material of the cell, the DNA, and also controls cell activities. Now, ribosomes which you can see right here are these small in this in this picture they are all purple uh, they are these small structures they are composed of protein and RNA and their job is to synthesize or put together proteins by linking together amino acids and they are scattered across the cytoplasm and some of them are also going to be attached to the rough ER, and we're going to talk about the rough ER in a minute. The ER stands for endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum starts from the nucleus and extends into the cytoplasm. So as you can see, it starts at the nucleus and then it extends out toward the cell membrane. Now the smooth endoplasmic reticulum um, doesn't have any ribosomes in it. And its primary job is to package uh, lipids. And the rough endoplasmic reticulum does have ribosomes on it. And its primary job is to package proteins. Uh, one of its other jobs is also to detoxify toxins and wastes. And isolation, modification, and transportation of proteins and lipids. Now, vesicles are going to be tiny membrane sacs. Um, there really isn't a good example of one in this picture, but we'll get to it in a minute. Now, they move through the cytoplasm or they stay there. Their primary functions are to transport molecules and also for digestion. Now, let's get into examples of specific types of vesicles. One of them is going to be lysosomes. Lysosomes look like this, and they contain hydrolytic enzymes, and those enzymes are going to break down proteins, complex high carbohydrates, and some lipids, and they can also digest a whole cell or parts of it, if need be. Peroxisomes, over here, they're going to be involved in the breakdown of fatty acids and amino acids, and they're also going to be the organelles that are breaking down alcohol in the liver and kidney cells. Now, the mitochondrion, or if you put it plural, it would be mitochondria. This is what it looks like. It is involved in metabolism, aerobic respiration, and it produces ATP in the sense that it um, provides the chemical energy to attach a phosphate group to ADP. The mitochondrions have their own DNA and ribosomes. Now here is, is a kind of an ideal example of a, of a mitochondrion. It has an outer membrane. It has cristae, which are folds of the inner membrane. And it also has the matrix, which is the semi-fluid interior. The Golgi apparatus, which is this purple structure you can see here, is a series of flattened membrane sacs. Its job is to perform modification and distribution of cell materials, kind of like FedEx. It packages things and then it sends them out for delivery. Now, enzymes are going to be involved 
in the finished production of proteins and lipids. They're going to sort the lipids and the proteins, and they're going to package them inside vesicles for shipment to somewhere else, somewhere else inside or outside the cell.